he hadn't mentioned the Avery. And if Nicole hadn't mentioned it to you. But if I hadn't put the time in already, histoplasmosis would never have occurred to me. And I thought the group needed to know how Brooke came by her diagnosis. So you've only succeeded in making me look petty, you look petty, and Brooke's swanning around even more than usual. That's a lot. You look thoughtful. Oh, I'm trying to think of a way to clear my stupid debt. So, any luck? I keep humming the tune to that finance company ad. Going into debt to pay debt, you'll be worse off. <laughs> Is that even possible? Come on. Just let Lana and Emma buy the place and you can play it with them. You'll still get all the advantages, it's what I do. It feels like my house. I found it, I made the offer. I need to stop Rosa from getting ripped off. And she appreciated it too. After she found out what Vance Ross was all about, she wanted me to have the house. But now... It's... You're not letting her down. She's still getting the money. Yeah, from Emma and Lana, not me. All those years I scoffed at them for being tight with their cash. Now look who's laughing. Not at you. No, they're just writing me off. Do you know what that feels like? Well, what about your folks? Can they come to the party? No, they bailed me out majorly a couple of years ago. Promised it wouldn't happen again. But this is different. Now, this is you maturing. Showing some responsibility is what parents want to see, isn't it? In theory. And, you know, after all their business with your sister. What about it? Well, they might just want to help out the other daughter, that's all. Hey, I've crunched the numbers and we can do it, Lance. You and me. Really? What about the five grand that was meant to come from Kyle's? Covered. I, um, I bit the bullet and called my mum. And she came through? The money will be in my account tomorrow morning, no questions asked. Seriously? She didn't even question what it was for? Well, I think it was probably shut up and go away money. But who cares? We're in. What about Kyle's? Without her, we'd never have got this far. But no way is she ready to take on a mortgage. It's just not realistic. We're doing her a favour by cutting her out. I don't think that's how she'll see it. Well, we have to take emotion out of the equation. It's a business transaction. It has to be watertight. I know. Look, but... I can rely on you to make all of the mortgage repayments on time, and you can rely on me the same way, right? Yeah. But Kyle's... love it a bit. But we'd be setting her up to fail, and... well, that will bring all of us down. Yeah. As you saw, my efforts to cast doubts on Brooke's diagnostic skills backfired badly. Yeah, maybe because you came across as Nicole's cheerleader. I like Nicole. We've become friends, nothing more. She wants to put all her energies into doing the best job she possibly can, and Brooke's making it difficult for her by neglecting her patients, meaning the nurses... I doubt any real neglect is going on, but believe me, I do know what Brooke is like. And you're still confident she can diagnose Mr Webster? She may not crack it, but, but she has shown... she might get lucky. It shouldn't rely on luck. Not if we're putting the patient's well-being first. Well, you may not have it bad for Nicole, but you've definitely got it in for Brooke. How about I talk to her? Great. But I will not take over her case for no reason. I don't believe in undermining people. I'll just gently bring her down to earth, maybe. For all we know, she may have a diagnosis by now. I'll find out on my way home. Thank you. You are amended itinerary for Johannesburg. Thanks, Lana. Is there anything else you need before I go? Just a sec. I meant to ask you if you could step up as acting CEO while I'm away. Sorry, too busy. Sarah's your man. Hmm. Actually, that will be all for tonight. Thank you for staying. OK, then. Sarah's position on the advisory board. What about it? I've already been accused of trying to influence her to favour Shorten Street. Promoting her at this point could look like more of the same. Only to nitpickers. I don't want to take any chances. I want that expansion funding. Well, so do I, but Sarah's your 2IC. If you go away and put someone else in the chair, that could just as easily be misconstrued. How? Well, you don't trust her to run the place. You don't believe she can do both jobs and remain impartial. It's a vote of no confidence. So I can't win either way. If being in charge for a while makes Sarah that little bit more invested, that's a win. Now you're telling me to be self-serving? Sarah's the obvious choice, Rachel. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Hi. 
Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. How's Mr. Webster doing? Well, his symptoms have stabilised. He doesn't need assistive ventilation. I'm running some tests to see if I can get to the bottom of his partial paralysis. Mm -hmm. Any strong leads? A vitamin deficiency, maybe, or poliomyelitis. The blood should tell us something. I checked his notes when I had a moment. Um, have you thought about Guillain-Barre syndrome? The clinical symptoms fit. Dysphagia, tachycardia, the weakness. You're right. Mm. There's an antibody test for it, but it is a tricky one to diagnose. Too tricky for me, you mean? No, no, not at all. I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe you should take over, give him a fighting chance. No, there's no need for me to do that. Just have a think about it and let me know if his OBS or any of those tests contradict, OK? OK, sure. So let's talk tomorrow. Right. Thank you for coming in so late. No problem. I've decided to appoint Sarah acting CEO while I'm away. Are you sure that's wise? You think it's a potential conflict of interest? I thought you wanted to keep Roy Douglas on side. He's likely to take a dim view. Chris is not available because of his surgical commitment. Sarah is the next obvious candidate. I'm confident she can keep her professional responsibilities separate. Perhaps she can. But... Well, even putting the Douglas issue aside, I'm reluctant to endorse it. Why? Do you know something I don't? Well, Sarah already has the advisory board, as well as being clinical director. She's also a solo mother with MS. Go on. I hate to say this, but as her friend, I also know how deeply the whole ugly business with Zach Smith has affected her. It affected all of us. Oh, of course. But Sarah lived with him and still wanted to be his friend, even after he betrayed her. Her failure to see him for what he was has shaken her far more than she's letting on. To be brutally honest, I think she's close to a breakdown. Another burden is the last thing she needs. Yeah, but this is a real turning point for me, you know? Growing up, settling down. And that's your final word? Yeah. OK, well, I had to ask. OK. Bye, Dad. Home at last. Have you eaten yet? Not really. Good, because I've made a lasagna. It's in the oven. And Em's has brought a bottle of wine. Nice, if you can afford it. Oh, it's a supermarket special, nothing flash. Guess what? I gave my parents a call to see if I could borrow some money. What'd they say? A big fat no. Oh, shame. Basically, they think if I can't clear my debt and raise the money for the deposit myself, then I shouldn't be buying a house. Well, you've got to admit they have a point. Em, you just borrowed some of your mum. Only to cover the bit that Kylie bailed on. Well, who said I've bailed? The meeting with the bank isn't until tomorrow afternoon. I've still got time to turn this around. Look, we're going ahead without you, babe. Just give me until tomorrow to improve my credit, please. Look, even if you could do it, it's still too risky. <laughs> you mean I'm too risky? I'm sorry. I thought we were in this together. I thought we were friends. We are. And we want to stay friends, which means not getting torn apart over mortgage repayments. But I can do it. All I need is 1200 bucks to get my credit rating back, and then I can totally hold up my end of the deal. 1200 Look, we've made our minds up. We're splitting the risk two ways, not three. Lana? Sorry. This was all my idea, not yours. The best. Mr. Webster's antibody test came back positive. You were right. Gillen Barre syndrome. Great. Thank you for your input. Any time. You put her on the right track, him. Yeah. Lucky for the patient. If Brooke was doing her best, your critical attitude doesn't actually help. Well, I helped Mr. Webster. Tom, did you to step in? Yes, to support Brooke, not to undermine her, and I expect the same from both of you. Understood? That's us told. Well, Brooke's had her wings clipped, and it's a positive result for the patient. That's what counts. True. Sure. So you're not annoyed with me anymore? I suppose not. Does that mean you'll let me buy you a drink after work? We agreed to be colleagues only, remember? Colleagues drink together. I don't think it's a good idea just yet. OK, then. Boundaries. Boundaries, yeah.
Hey, Bernie. Hey. hey. How's Kylie? I haven't seen her this morning, but last night not so good. Oh. I told her to hit her folks up for the money she needs. Do you know if she... No luck. So she can't buy him with many names. Oh, she'll be gutted. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. So what's this? The builder's report. The place is structurally sound, so that's great. Yeah, no way do you want a leaky home. Or a collapsing one, which is why there's all these extra costs like this and the limb report. Well, you'll spend a packet, that's for sure. Yeah. Liz cleaned out all her savings, and she's borrowed from her mum to cover the rest of the deposit. Mm. So I need to pay for these. I'm just going to have to sell some stuff. Yeah, like what? I've got some fabric. Well, that's not going to fetch much. It's French, and it's fabulous. It'll fetch quite a bit. Ooh. Irreplaceable, yeah? <laughs> There's plenty of fabulous fabric out there, but there won't be other houses, not like this one. Sacrifice for the greater good, eh? That's the name of the game. I've decided to appoint Seth acting CEO while I'm in South Africa. Excellent. Thanks, Sarah. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Chris. I expect to be leaning heavily on you both, of course. Oh, lean away. I can give you a proper handover this afternoon. Does four o'clock work for you? Perfect. I don't know where Lana's got till this morning. She was meant to draw up a schedule of meetings and so on. I can wait till this afternoon. We'll see you then. I thought you were going with Sarah. I thought so too, but then Seth gave me the heads up. She's not coping very well. I think she's got to be amazingly well considering. Too well, that's the thing. He's got quite close to her and he's worried. A whole lot of extra stress is not a good idea. Oh, fair enough, I suppose. That creep Zach has a lot to answer for. I'm thinking of banning his name altogether. Works for me. So you're happy with Seth as an option? Well, he's covered for me before, and all going well, he'll get a pleasant reminder of how well we do things. Oh, I will take every opportunity to highlight our brilliance and efficiency while he is here. I hoped you'd say that. Uh, give him IV immunoglobulin and do OBS every 15 minutes until his symptoms start to abate. I've put him on a monitor. Have you spoken to the HD you read? Uh, well, he's, he's stable at the moment, so I, I don't think I need to call him yet. We could always ask Sarah. Why? Because you think I can't make an informed judgement? No, not at all. Well, that's what it sounds like, and I'm sick of it. I won't put up with being got at by a nurse. What's this about? I don't need you butting in either. You sure about that? Excuse me? Leave it, Boyd. No. Your last two patients have been diagnosed by other people, which tells me you need all the input you can get. So maybe you should get off your high horse, apologise to Nicole, and start showing a bit of gratitude. I'll let the HTU reach know if he deteriorates. Keep a close eye on his vitals. Did you have to take it that far? She was having a go at you. Only because I mentioned Sarah, she was embarrassed. Well, that's no excuse. You humiliated her, Boyd. It was awful. It wasn't even your business. I thought perhaps you wanted the acting CEO position yourself. I wouldn't have turned it down. I'm surprised Rachel didn't consider me, actually. I'm surprised too. I didn't think you were still in the dog box. <laughs> For what? The advisory board. That business with Brooke. You had no choice but to haul Rachel up on the ethics of using insider knowledge. But she didn't take it well. I thought we got past that. Apparently not. Rachel's not usually one to hold grudges. There's a lot riding on this funding decision. I guess she's questioning your loyalty. Rest assured, I won't be so vengeful. But a word to the wise. Don't let her block your opportunities for advancement in future. What, you really think she'd try? I had no idea she felt this way. And she wouldn't be too pleased with me for telling you, so... No, I won't say anything. I'm sorry, Carlos, for upsetting you. We never wanted that. That's okay. I'm sorry for being such an immature drama queen about it. You weren't. Yes, I was. But I've thought it through, and you and Emma have made the best decision. Look at my track record, right? I'm hopeless. You guys would be stupid to gamble on me changing my ways. But I will change. I'm going to get smarter with money. I'm determined to. That's a really good attitude. I do have one favour to ask, though. What? Can I still flat with you guys? I really, really want to. Of course you can. That's a given. Thanks. I'd shout you a coffee, but, you know, saving. What do you want? To apologise. I crossed the line before. No, you didn't. 
You said I'm incompetent, and you're right. No, I... Yes. You know the worst part? I was deluding myself. Banking on those diagnoses to prove that I'm a good doctor. Anything to convince Rachel to give me another shot at management. Even this stupid nutrition research is a waste of time. I'm a crack doctor, and Rachel's door is very firmly shut. Hey, no one said you were crap. Just a bit out of your depth, maybe. I used to be too, I see. Oh. I used to run the surgical tourism program. I, I used to be going somewhere. I stuffed it all up, and now I'm going nowhere fast. I didn't know all that. Yeah, well, now you do, so feel free to have a good laugh at my expense. It'll feel. Excuse me, I'm busy. Perfect timing. I've got something for you. Open it. A check for $1,200? I sold a bunch of stuff and decided the best use of the money was to help you buy into the house. Oh, I wasn't trying to kill trip you before. I know you weren't. Honestly, I'm fine with just being a flatmate. I've got my head around it. I really don't mind. I totally support what you and Emma are doing. Just accept the money, OK? You've got five grand up your sleeve, which helps us a lot. And three people paying's easier than two. Extra costs keep popping up. So it's a hard-headed business decision. We need you. I won't let you down, I promise. I'll hold you to that. Now you pay off that debt pronto. We've got a meeting with the bank in an hour. You, me and him. Terrible trio reunited. Thank you. Sarah. Hey. Just a schedule of appointments for you. Appointments? CEO stuff. Oh, well, then this should go to Seth. I th thought you were doing it. Really? Chris suggested you. I thought Rachel had agreed, but she did have a meeting with Seth after that. Maybe she changed her mind. Yeah, yeah, maybe she did. Sorry, I should have checked with her. I'm supposed to be on top of things like this. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> Suddenly, you want Brooke to liaise with your American tabby patients. Five minutes ago, you thought she was a quack who should be on the next stagecoach out of town. You exaggerate. Barely. What's changed? I underestimated her, that's all. Did she point that out? No. I've become aware of her previous experience in the surgical tourism program, so I think she's perfect for the job. That may be so. But we're focusing on the public side of the hospital at the moment. Oh, you surely don't want the huge potential of Tavi to be neglected, particularly in the US market. It needs to be managed properly. True. But I don't get many people in here singing Brooks praises. <laughs> OK, when it comes to diagnosis, I'd go to someone else. But she's ambitious, dynamic, persuasive. This role would play to her strengths. I think you should give her a chance to prove herself. TK, I need to take my lunch break now. I've got a meeting at the bank. Oh, yeah? Good meeting or bad meeting? <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's any of my business. Good meeting. Well, fingers crossed. I'm buying a house at Lana. We're trying to, anyway. <laughs> hey, cool. So, what's wrong with renting? Well, it's throwing money away. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> okay, it could be daunting at first, sure, but um, I've never regretted buying my own home. You won't either. It's a good investment. <laughs> He'll be telling me to get into the stock market next, and that's definitely a mugs game. OK, what have you got against paying a mortgage? Have you ever heard of mortgagee sales? There's more of them every year. Yeah, but we've both got good jobs, and there's room for two flatmates if we need them. We can keep up the payments, we'll be sweet. OK, that's, that's what my friends Abby and Alan thought. Talk about famous last words. Why? What happened to them? Well, Abby got knocked off her bike and couldn't work for a year. Turns out she had the wrong kind of insurance. And when Alan got made redundant, they ended up losing everything. Oh. The house got sold out from under them, and they still owe a small fortune. Wow, that's really bad luck. Yeah, maybe. But all the banks want to know you in the good times. In the bad times, no mercy. Here's the MVA. Uh, straight through the resource, thanks. Hey, you ready for the bank? Uh, yes. 
Emma, Emma, um, Sue's not back yet. I need you. Damn. Uh, sorry, looks like you have to go alone. Actually, uh, I Just uh, tell them it was an emergency and try to look more confident. You can handle it, okay? Okay. I suppose you expect me to thank you. That'd be nice. I don't need your pity, Void. Condescension doesn't suit you. Ah, oh, so you're not liaising with my cardiac patients in the US. Someone's got to do it. And it might as well be you. Exactly. And you can fight your own battles in future. I certainly can. Duly noted. Good. I'm grateful to the end. She's got attitude, I'll give her that. Way too much. Good on you for helping her out. It's the least I could do after the way I went on today. Are you going over the road for a drink now? No, too much prep for tomorrow. See ya. Seriously, this is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Me too. Homeowners. Hey, I got your text. The bank said yes. Our offer's gone unconditional. Wow. It seems almost unreal. Except it's real. I'll get another glass. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the bank. Edie went crazy. Oh, it's okay. I hate cops. Oh, Kylie went to the meeting. It must have been a bit weird. No, see, I tried to tell you, but you had that car crash patient. Mm. Kylie's paid off her debt. She's back in the deal like we planned. No, we agreed it was just you and me. Yeah, but only because Kyle's couldn't pay her way. Now her credit rating's clear and she's debt free, except to me. You lent her the 1200 Yeah, I sold some stuff. Uh, like what, a kidney? Just stuff, some fabric. Not the French stuff. I remember when you bought that, you were so excited. Please tell me you didn't. I made the choice, I'm not sorry. I gave Rosa a call as soon as we got the word. She is thrilled for us. Cheers. Well, what's all this? Retail therapy? Just some cushions for our new home. Don't freak. Blana help me choose. We agreed. She is not responsible enough for a mortgage. And now look at her, spending like there's no tomorrow. They're for all of us. Running around buying champagne. People with mortgages don't do that. It's only a glass each and I paid for it. How could you do this to me? Do what? Kylie found us this house and I put up most of the money. Oh, meaning what? I don't get consulted when you make decisions now. I didn't say that. Everything will be okay and I won't let you down, I promise. You already have. I thought for once Lara and I could do something without worrying about you messing it up, but oh no, as usual, you had to muscle on in, didn't you? You ruined everything. 